Hi, Cat's Cradle here. The picture you just saw was of a chicken that I roasted last night, or what was left over of it. We ate on it last night, but usually on a big bird, we can get about three meals off of it. Be no exception for this one. I took the chicken that was left that you saw in that picture, I deboned it, uh, took the skin off, and then that's the little beeper telling me my oven has preheated. And so I cut it into chunks about that size okay I don't want it shredded I do want it in chunks so I've got this in a bowl ready to go you are going to love this recipe it goes together so fast I'm part of a women's crafting group that meets once a month and we lots of times have a potluck dinner and somebody brought this and everybody in the group was clamoring for this recipe it is fabulous I've tweaked it just a little bit but I'm going to show you how fast it goes together. You're going to love this. Here's all my fresh veggies that go in. Celery, bell pepper, onion. Don't worry about the mounts. I will give those to you under uh, the video in the section where it says show more. If you just click on that, the amounts and um, the directions will all be there. Here's a can of sliced water chestnuts that goes in. Here's how it's looking so far. Here's lightly toasted sliced almonds. I just uh, toasted them lightly in my microwave. They don't need very long and you have to be very careful or they'll burn. All I'm gonna do here, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in as well. This is salt and pepper. Kinda wanna be careful with the salt because this has some cheese in it and some condensed soup. And both of those things are salty, so you have to be kind of careful. So I've just lightly tossed those. I don't want to break up the chicken very much. Now, here's the liquid ingredients. You can either make your own or buy canned, condensed cream of chicken soup. Any one would probably be fine. You could use uh, cream of celery or cream of mushroom, whatever you have on hand. Mayonnaise, sour cream, lemon juice. That's the wet ingredients. I'm just gonna stir them together because I want those combined. I probably could have got a little bit bigger bowl here. And I don't want to break up my chicken very much. So I'm gonna make sure these three ingredients, four ingredients are combined. This is not, as you have probably already figured out, this is not a low calorie dish. This is kind of a uh, once or twice a year kind of thing you would make, but it is just so scrumptious. Um, if it were me, I would just make it like my friend did and take it to a ladies' luncheon or something, serve it to all my skinny women friends. It's just yummy. Okay, this looks pretty good. Pretty combined. All right. There's my mixture with all my chunky ingredients. I'm going to go mix this in. There we go. Scrape all that goodness out. I'm gonna wipe my hand here. All right, and then we're just gonna gently fold that together. I'm gonna put this in a glass Pyrex dish that has not been greased. This has enough fat in it and enough moisture that sticking is not going to be an issue. The original recipe called for uh, pimentos, like canned pimentos. I had a fresh bell pepper, which is just what a pimento is, except a pimento has been canned with a little salt and water. You certainly could use a canned pimento though, just to add a little bit of color to this. All right. There's my baking dish. I'm gonna to try to pour this in without making a mess. Make sure I got everything combined on the bottom. Here we go. It really does have a lot of vegetable in it, so you don't need to worry about having to have a whole lot of chicken here. Look at that, wow. Okay, I'm gonna spread this out. Now this does not have to, you're not cooking this so that the celery and bell pepper get soft. You want the celery, bell pepper, and onion crunchy. And so all you're doing 
is just getting it hot. I really should have, before I put it in here, tested for the salt. And you can do that because the chicken is cooked. So let me just do that now. Remembering that I still have some cheese to put on top. No, that's just fine, just the way it is. All right. I'm gonna pop it in the oven. And when it's ready, I'll bring you back. All right, I just took the casserole out of the oven. Look what I told you about the red bell peppers. They've shown up at the party. They look really good and add some color there. Now let's top it off with a little bit of grated cheddar cheese here. I'm using sharp. You can use whatever suits you best. Not too much. I'm just trying to add a little bit of color to something that, you know, um, Chicken salad has a tendency to look a bit anemic, so that's what I'm trying to prevent. Found these. French fried onion rings. I've always shied away from them. Am I right here? There we go. Perfect. I've always shied away from them because all I remember are the ones in the can that were so greasy and loaded with preservatives. These are much improved. And the ingredients are really onions, wheat flour, and they got two oils, let me see, sunflower or safflower oil, really good, they are not greasy at all, I'm going to top this again, like I said, I shy away from these, but my, when my friend had them on the top of this casserole, when she served it to me, fabulous, I'm not going to use the whole thing, I don't want to overpower it with onions, there we go, back in the oven for five more minutes, and then I'll serve it up. Do you not just want to dive into this with a spoon? Look how gorgeous that is. And when I tell you it tastes as good as it looks, I'm not kidding. Here's how I plate it up. It's pretty rich, so you don't want to serve too much at first. I'm going to do that. Now, this would be perfect for a luncheon, although I will tell you this is our supper and this is how we like to eat. There's some cute little uh, raw baby carrots to go along with the crunchy theme. Here's a beautiful cluster of red grapes. I'm going to put some crackers here because that's always good with chicken salad. And I would garnish this. I always like to garnish with what's ever in the dish. So I would do a little lemon wedge there and maybe, hmm, let me see if I can find a little one. Yeah, here we go. Maybe a little sprig of celery. This is a delicious supper. And you really can't afford the calories in a dish like this if you're eating raw fruits and vegetables with it uh, and eliminating most of the starch other than just a few little saltine crackers. This is so good. I've seen where a lot of people use curry in this. If you like curry, you can use it. I'm not a fan of turmeric, so I didn't use it. And the only other thing my friend had in this recipe that I did not care for was the mushrooms, the canned mushrooms. Now, I love mushrooms. They're one of my favorite vegetables. However, in this dish, they just came off as rubbery, and they didn't fit with this nice, crunchy, fresh theme. So I left them out. If you want to, add them in. I hope you'll try this. It's really so good. Oh, <laughs> Preparation behind the camera uh, doing, uh, what do I look like, chopped liver? I'm supposed to taste this. Yes, go ahead, but realize it's super hot. Okay. This plate is gorgeous, by the way. Thank it's, you very it, much. Real hot. Don't burn yourself. Okay, tell them what you think. I love the crunch. Yeah. But it's also got a creaminess to it because yes. of the, the mayonnaise and the soup. And the sour cream, yeah. Right. Yeah. It's, it's just a wonderful uh, juxtaposition between the creamy and crunchy. I think you're going to love it. Give it a try. Until next time, this is Cat's Cradle. And prepare.